How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. Is that what he wants? He knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? Just say it. We're here already anyway. I know about his plan. What did you just say, Louis? His aim is for the United States to take the whole of the North American continent. But that is impossible! A democratic superpower. I don't understand. That has nothing to do with the coming vote. You will ask for France to take over Louisiana, and then hand it over to the United States, and so double the size of their territory. Once that's done, he will just need to push a bit more, and you will lose North America, Duke Manuel. God's blood! Has he gone mad? No, Johan. He has always been mad. <sighs> Louis, I would like to thank you for what you've just revealed. If not for you, I don't know if we'd have been capable of deciphering his plans quickly enough to be able to counter him. What are we going to do now that we know about it? Destroy him. <laughs> no! We'll beat him at his own game, my friends. His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, war is what you'll get. And on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with uh... France. What do you expect from the Papal States, Sir Gregory? What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. Excuse me? Can't help but feel like home might actually be with Mortimer after all. Maybe they're playing 4D chess. And me, Sir Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The Order will have to act in France, but even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis? I'd like to see you a moment, please. Thank you for siding with me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. We know that Washington doesn't seem to know about Mortimer's plans. I am so confused about who's on whose side right now. This guy's... I mean, he seems like he's with against Mortimer to begin with, but he's like, war, 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 let's declare war everywhere, especially on France, when you're talking to a French person. What do you want me to say to that? Uh... Do you really think that I'll be able to convince him? I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I have total faith in you. He likes you, and thus he won't see you coming. You must be careful, though. If he senses that you are trying to manipulate him, he'll dig in his heels. Louis, use every means at your disposal. If Washington drops Mortimer, his defeat will be complete. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Can't help but feel like... Mortimer should be smarter than this, right? What if he told me the plans on purpose so that this would happen. On some level, I'm very afraid that I'm just playing into his hand right now, and without my mother, I don't know what to think. I didn't look at that, because I think that's just the book again, right? Chronicles of the Amber Princess. 
As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. There is nothing here because we've already been here like 20 times. Don't imagine we can leave. We can. But can we go back this way? Oh. Let me in, please. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but that's impossible. Come now. There's nothing secret going on in there. Let me in. Oh, I am sorry, but I cannot say, sir. I am to follow Lord Mortimer's instructions. Can you at least tell me who is still in the room? I'm looking for a guest. Of course, sir. It would seem that only Lord Mortimer and Mr. Napoleon are present. The other guests have gone back to their rooms by another door. So, Washington is probably in his room. I'm looking for President Washington. Would you know where he is by any chance? Uh, unfortunately not, sir. All I can say to sir is that the president is no longer in the conference room. <sighs> All right. I'll go looking for him myself. Now I'm thinking back to episode one. Thank you. Have a good evening, sir. Where we could have chosen to help Washington or not. And I did choose to help him. But we weren't able to help him entirely. Remember how he wanted to look into Elizabeth's room? I wonder if that's going to come into play in here, in terms of if he's going to trust me or not. Do you got new? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Would you happen to know where I could find Monsieur Washington? Sorry, sir, I haven't the foggiest. Perhaps sir ought to try in President Washington's room? Yeah, that, that does make sense. It's nighttime now. Again, everything is all dark and gloomy yet again. Can we go here? We can! Hmm. Um. Maybe he's not in his room. Let me, let me go this way first. Is anybody still around here or has everybody gone back to their room? Hey, we can look outside when it's nice and... Ooh, look at that beautiful round moon. Gotta be careful here. You stay here for too long. Oh, look at that! You can see the dock that we came in at. Oh, that's pretty cool. Don't want to get pushed down, though. Try to convince George Washington. Nobody's here. All this is kind of interconnected though, so I think we'll be able to go back, even if he's not here. Yeah. Upstairs, I mean. When they let me go to all these places, it makes me feel like there's got to be something around here, but maybe there isn't. We don't really know. Maybe it's just a way for me to backtrack and get some amber or whatnot, jelly. I feel like we've already seen all of the mansion though. So getting royal jellies from this point onward might be kind of difficult. Wow, really? Well, everything looks very beautiful here. Is my mother... Does she want to talk at all, or...? Well, I gotta get to the freaking center first. I don't think there's actually anything in here. And... Is my mom still... Permanently here? I remember that... Sir Holm... Was in one of the visions that we saw too, with my mother. I think he was trying to convince my mom not to kill Emma. Oh gosh, it's, it's, it's actually so confusing. I'm really confused about who's with who. And there's so many layers going on here too. Are we just talking about our countries or are we actually talking about something a little bit more? Because according to stuff with Elizabeth, it seems like there could be culty components here to what's actually going on. Supernatural components? We can't go in here, can we? Yeah, that's Napoleon and Mortimer. We opened all of this already. Nothing left for us. And now we go back upstairs.
Anyone wandering around the hallways? Where was Washington's room anyway? Is it this one? This is Elizabeth's room. Oh, wow. Weird that we can still get in here. Did they clean it up? No, we've seen all of that. 30 November, 17. A lot of these previous areas we can still access for whatever reason. Washington. President George Washington. Uh, let me make a loop to make sure no one's standing out in the hallway for us to talk to them first. Oh, hey, I can get in my own room. Perfect! Were there things in here that I never opened because I... Yeah, I didn't have the lockpicking skill at the time. We're here. Yeah. Golden elixir. Useless. <laughs> Dante. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. No. We finally- Whoa. Oh, that scared me. That little bit of leaf. Right in front of our faces. No, there's nothing here. I think they've just opened up too many areas for us to be able to access. But, uh... Oh. Wait. Lord Duke. Here is the information obtained by our intelligence service. I can confirm that Mr. Hay is indeed working on an agreement with Great Britain. The aim seems to be to weaken the French economy, and secretly that of the Spanish, by seizing merchandise at sea. Our treasuries are already suffering from the embargo on French food products. Such a treaty would mean the ruin of our colonies. I have no doubt that you will be able to swiftly find a diplomatic solution, awaiting further instructions. Where are we? This is not my room. This is somebody else's room. Key with a cult air symbol. Manuel Godoy. A painting of himself in his room. Now that's not gonna help him develop a sense of modesty. Oh my god, my balcony is linked to Godoy's balcony. And I just... I was just able to walk over. Wow. Okay, well don't mind if I do. There's gotta be more here that we haven't seen yet. That is a jelly, right? Yup. Huh. Have we ever been in Godoy's room before? Because otherwise, I don't imagine that we would have left the jelly here. Is it okay that we're here? Where is he? The Kiss of Judas, painted by Caravaggio. This is how Judas pointed out Christ to the Roman soldiers. Can you imagine a worse betrayal? Betrayal in this room. Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> how ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hmm. It looks like someone's hidden something on the back of this painting. It's a letter. Of course, it's written in Spanish. And it reeks of lavender. Well, well, Mr. Godoy. You seem very interested in hiding this letter. Another secret romance, I presume? He is a royal gigolo. Four. Four. That's definitely not worth four points. Carmelite water. So... Let's see what it says. My tender Pepita, I feel so guilty at being so far away from you again, even, even if it's for the good of my country. I feel awful at having to leave you after a silly little spat because you are the only woman I love, Josefa. I told you before, everything I have, everything I can offer you, I owe to the affection of the queen. Let's stay united, please, even in sacrifice, for the two of us, for our future children. 
Stop being jealous. You are the only one who fills my thoughts. Everything else is just a game, I swear. What a useless waste of Carmelite water. It seems that the Queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Hmm. If the Queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Oh, we can blackmail him. Interesting. As usual, the negative consequences of taking too many items is never a problem because we always have too much golden elixir. Carmelite water will give me a little reprieve. We can go out this way. Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Yeah, that, that's a pretty fair thing to say. Prometheus. Punished for stealing fire from the gods and giving it to man. In the Doi's room. Well, it seems like a Doi's not here. Would be awkward if he was right here in his tub. Look at that golden elixir coming right back to me. In record time. Oh, there's a... Brutus and his companions taking an oath to kill Caesar. A2 Brutus. A coin? There is a box here. Oh, is that not a box? Okay. Well, wherever Godoy is, it's not here. No more balconies. No bless of the sword. That is a manuscript, probably. Did they fix this? No, it's still in French. <laughs> the most accomplished and comprehensive treatise on fencing ever written. Agility. Oh, all right. Amber crystals. Heck yeah. Well, we've ransacked his entire room. He's not here, that's fine. Good thing we came here before going to George Washington, huh? You never know when we get access to places, when we don't get access to places. Is anyone gonna come? No? Okay. Back to Washington. Unless if there's another room here that's also open. Nope. Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon's room. We've never been. We had a chance previously, but we didn't come in here, I don't think. Did we? The Beaucaire dinner. It hasn't been signed yet, but there's a letter with it. I think at some point we were able to lockpick in here, but at that time I didn't have the skill yet. Put the letter back on the manuscript. My dear Bonaparte, as promised, here are the few pages that I recommend you publish within the next few months. We both know that it's sheer lack of time that prevented you, prevented you from stringing these lines together yourself. The ideas are yours though. No need to feel indebted. Your success will suffice for the good of all. So... Bonaparte is going to publish a book that he didn't write. That crafty little rascal. What? Napoleon's not known for writing anyway, right? Why does he have to ghostwrite something? It isn't signed. That's some quality paper. And that handwriting. I'd say it's Mortimer's. Oh! That is interesting information. Mortimer... Because right now, Napoleon hasn't proven himself anything yet. So maybe that's an attempt for Mortimer trying to raise Napoleon's reputation. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? I remember that. Have we been in here before? Uh... There's a very high... Ch that's jelly, right? 
That's jelly. Honey. Ooh. I couldn't have hoped for better. It was gonna eat it if I just... Thank God. The Battle of Alexander at Isus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Oh yes, we've definitely been in here before. I remember the sword. It's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Oh. Did we not have that already? I'm pretty sure we haven't seen that letter the last time we were here, though. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Napoleon's mom is on the run. I'm thinking if I should search this place because I have almost full items right now. If I try to search it, it might be a waste because it's gonna disappear. I'll, I'll leave this one alone. Yeah. Hoping maybe we'll come back here sometime. Eh, not a guarantee. Dear Monsieur Bonaparte, in reply to your demand of enthronement into our society, and hereby inform you that, unfortunately, you do not meet the criteria required to become a member of the Golden Order. We are, however, honored by the interest you have shown in our research and activities. We have no doubt that your keen interest for the occult sciences will one day allow you to join us. And in anticipation of that day, please accept the expression of our fullest consideration, Sarah de Riche. So at some point, he wanted to join us. I don't think we've seen these letters before. Maybe the mom one, but not his mom, not my mom. Buy corn decorate with yes, a cocade. Yes. It must belong to a French soldier. Japeru. Oh, all these balconies are kind of connected. Wow. I don't know whose room that is. I don't know whose room that is. Is this still Napoleon's room? I think so, but shut off. Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer. Two great army chiefs. Army chiefs! My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the Oh, occasion. we've seen this. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Mm, we've seen this one. Nothing back here. Well, Jean Peru was not who I was expecting to see, but I don't mind seeing him at all. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Okay, let's go talk to him. Oh, Japeru. Are we buddies? I forgot? I think so? We talked at the garden. Leave me, Dorice. I don't feel like talking. Are you gonna keep sticking to me like glue? Hell's bells, I don't deserve this. <laughs> There's nothing you can do for me. What's going on? Maybe I can help. Not anymore, you can't. Not against him. But thanks for the offer. Who are you talking about? Mortimer. You know very well. Lord Mortimer? You talk as if you're in danger, monsieur. Has he threatened you in any way? I'm done for, monsieur de Richet. I played with the devil, and I lost. 
Uh, Japaru is weak against psychology. Don't you think it would be good for you to shed your burden? That is my intention. You're worried. You have a secret. You're afraid of talking about it. Afraid? Mm, who is he afraid for? Afraid for himself, I would think, because he keeps saying stuff like, it's not too late for you, but it's too late for me. Oh, that could mean that he's afraid for me. You're afraid of what might happen to me if you told me about it. Absolutely not. <laughs> You're not the center of the world, you know. Time is short, Louis. Follow my advice. Find your mother if she's still alive, and get out of here. Flee this damned island of doom. Are we in danger? You've been in danger since the minute you set foot on this rock. He wants you. He's sizing you up. He is circling around you. It's blindingly obvious, and you, flattered as you are, will soon be running around for him just to keep your place among his precious few. It feels so good to be accepted by him. You will experience power, wealth, glory. He will give it all to you, until one day you will feel so eaten up inside that you will no longer know who you are. You will find yourself void of all conscience, of all freedom. You can no longer look at yourself in the mirror without feeling sick. Refuse, I tell you. From now on, say no. No. <laughs> You're a good man, Louis. You look after yourself. As for me, I shall take back my freedom tomorrow morning. I'm through with it all. There you go. Back in the saddle. I'm glad to hear it. Come on. It's late. I'd like to get some rest. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. Japaru, just say no, okay? Say no to Mortimer! <laughs> leave me alone. Okay, fine. Fine. Go to sleep. Get some good rest. My buddy. Why are you even on this balcony? Whoa. Whose room am I in now? My dear little Eleanor, I wanted to share with you my calmer thoughts of the moment. Needless to say how much I miss you and how much I regret having to be separated with you from you. But I know that you will be virtuous, courageous, and safe with your sister, Marie Helen. I will never be able to mend my mistakes, but I do know how to save you from their consequences once and for all. Be always assured of my fatherly devotion and affection. Never doubt it, come what may. You must know that everything will turn out for the best now. I am determined to protect you, whatever the price I have to pay. And so be confident and serene in times of ordeal. With all my love, your ever proud father. Is this Jopperu's room? Everybody is so into writing. Whoa. Hold on. Is Jopperu okay? There's a lot going on in this room. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. Mm. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic, Long live France. Sister Marie Allen. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Devil's Thorn here. I think we've read that letter before? I think so. Japaru Orphanages. Another painting on the Massacre of the Innocents? Nice decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. I want to match that letter with this letter. Your sister. Is this actually his daughter? Because that Sister Marie Helene thing, like, why would she call herself sister? I thought she was a nun or something. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Japaru is. 
Yeah, we've been here before. I recognize the boots and all. Oh. See, it's very hard to tell where you should go to again and where you shouldn't because if we didn't come into Jopperu's room, we wouldn't have found that he's actually outside. Willing to talk to us. This was Napoleon's room. Jopperu is very, very angry. Very angry. Nobody's around here. Can we go back to Washington now, or could there be more? Monsieur Johann von Volner. Von Volner? The Great Work of the Soul by S. Madone. Pure alchemy is a thought, an art that is performed on the matter of the soul. Great alchemists work to transform and perfect the latter by a series of processes known as the great work. There are four phases to attain the ultimate in spiritual fulfillment. Yeah, this guy was super... This guy was kind of like spiritual, huh? The human soul must descend, be corrupt, in order to become decomposed. It's something like what I felt when I think of what I found out about my mother. <laughs> the soul broken up must be purified by the alchemist. Nice program. The soul must be transformed in order to attain sublimation by the recombination of the alchemist. It's tempting. Thus ends the great work. The incarnation of the purified spirit. The elevation of the soul now become perfect. It's resurrection, thanks to the action of the alchemist. Except if the alchemist has bad intentions, then it's called manipulation. Hmm. Very metaphorical as occult theories go. The human spirit being the prima materia of the alchemist. I feel like we've read something like that before. Von Volner? Von Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, right? That was the bombshell that we got last time. But other than that, nobody is in their rooms, but you can't find any of them. This is strange. Anybody else here? Whoa, this balcony is long. Hey, you can see Japaru across. That's kind of cool. And the gardens down here. Golden elixir that we don't need. Amber. Oh, extra slot. Awesome. We can't go in here. Whoever's room that is. Nope. Oh. This is where we came out of, right? Yeah, that's the o this is the only place that we can go out? Hold on. No! Oh, I am so confused. There are so many rooms here. Did we come from here? This is... Yes, this is Von Volner's room. So there was one extra room that we could have reached from the outside. Let's check that out. The third one. Oh! Oh, Elizabeth's room! Were we supposed to be able to reach here, though? I don't... We're just kind of dancing on her bed. Alright. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Wow. We got a nice starry night today. Um, I think we should probably get to Washington now, but... Mmm, everybody's room is open now. I think it might be because, in episode 2, if you didn't get the chance to investigate, then you wouldn't have been able to visit everyone's room, but now you can. For the people who can't, but for the people who were able to visit it previously, like me. Maybe this is just gonna be a repeat of what we've already done. I think we've walked one big loop around here now. Yeah, Elizabeth Adams' room. Let's go to Washington. President George Washington. Okay, we're finally ready.
Well, it seems like he's not here. We have been in this room before. Uh, let's leave this one alone for now. That looks like it could be... It's something we probably already have. We don't have space for it. Oh. Did we see this last time? Locked. This one would be less conspicuous. I don't have the key. The president's personal reserve of laudanum, and judging by the quantity, he can't go without it. Ah, there's also a letter. Dear Mr. President, I am returning my answer as quickly as I can. We already spoke about it before you left, but I know that things have not improved. I urge you follow my advice and to stop taking laudanum immediately. I am already looking for a substitute, but I'm afraid you won't wait. Your excessive consummation is in danger of definitively impairing your chances of securing your next mandate. Your addiction is jeopardizing the exercise of your office and duties, my friend. I regret I see no other solution but to stop your daily intake. Yours sincerely, Dr. W. Thompson. Ah, oh, I remember last time we were suspicious of Washington because we thought, oh, laudanum? That's... isn't that how Elizabeth died? But according to this letter, no, seems like that's not the case. There's also a letter and some amber. Well, it's good to know that he didn't kill Elizabeth. I think that's good knowledge to have. Definitely. Can't go outside. He's not here. What? Where is he? I feel like we've been through the whole mansion already. Uh, we've read that already, I think. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my. Yeah, we've seen that one. Yup. Oh, got stuck here. Where the heck could he be? I really don't know. What are you doing in my room? Uh, don't manipulate him, right? Maybe let's just say we've come to talk. Mr. President, I won't beat around the bush. I came to persuade you not to follow Lord Mortimer on this one. I appreciate your forthrightness, Louis. That will save us some time. Well, since you're here... Can I get you something to drink? No, no thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's... Nothing for you to feel bad about. So, what can I do for you? And don't say that one. Politics. Lie? I don't think Mortimer's plans go against him, though, because America will gain Louisiana if they actually work. So not these two. I don't think we should lie. Again, with the whole manipulation thing. Three? I'm gonna use Carmelite water. I think it's worth it if it's above two. President Washington, I regret that my situation is contrary to yours, especially as I really do respect you. Me too, Louis. Let us not mix business and emotion. Understood. I've just come from a meeting with Sir Gregory and his supporters. They are all rallying against Mortimer's project. That is to be expected. Great Britain, the Kingdom of Spain and Sicily, the Kingdom of Prussia, the Holy Empire, the Kingdom of Portugal, of Bohemia, and of Hungary. I know, Louis, I know. 
The Coalition Against France also gives me cause for concern. I'm certainly not saying that, on paper, Mortimer's plan seems very viable. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis, what have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? Etiquette? Blackmail him over the laudanum? Because you're already allied to Emily against France, out of duty to my mother. Not this one. Maybe this one. Shake his faith. That always seems like a good thing to do. This type of meeting might be familiar to you, but for me, I must admit, Mr. President, it's all a bit over my head. It's only natural, Louis. But you are managing rather well for a first-timer. You've chosen the wrong allies, that's all. I hope my mother doesn't hold it against me if I've made a mistake. Anyway, if Lord Mortimer does succeed, it would be no mean feat. Did he tell you what he would gain from it? What do you mean? Well, Mortimer's plan has been meticulously prepared for many years, I imagine. Of that you can be sure. It's only natural, and his plan leaves nothing to chance. No, that's what... He never commits his own fortune, let alone his reputation, since you're the one who takes center stage here. In fact... Whether he wins or loses, everything is arranged so that he comes out of it intact. Yes, I... Ah, uh, you've got to hand it to him, though. He's a master at putting together a plan which puts himself at no risk. That's true. Don't worry, he... You can trust him. Of course. I'll bet he's invested in a river transport company on the Mississippi or somewhere like that. It's true I had never thought about what he might have to gain. Tell me what Sir Gregory has to offer that I don't already have with Lord Mortimer. Mm. It is in the best interest of the American people. Okay, well not this one. Promise him Louisiana too. I don't think Holm can do that. And I don't feel like money would motivate George Washington. Keep what you already have. You'd be able to win colonies. Peace? This is vague. These two... I don't know if we can do that. This is not gonna work. This one seems kind of outrageous too. This is good because... um, Hold up. If we check George Washington's stats right now... Right here. We know Washington is immune to politics, but we don't know what he's weak against yet. So in our interest, it's good to information gather and try to figure out what he's actually weak against. Although that's a little bit of metagaming here, as opposed to actually choosing a choice that I think is suitable. But in this case, I think the choice that I think is suitable and metagaming both align to the same choice. You are a man of conviction, Mr. President. You would never make a choice that could cost the American people very dearly. If Mortimer falls, he will bring the United States down with him. Haven't the American people suffered enough? I would never do anything that would put my people in danger. Exactly. Therefore, choose your allies wisely, sir. I must admit, your arguments do make sense, Louis. Louis, you've convinced me. I congratulate you for your performance because I didn't think it could happen. I merely exposed the facts to you. Don't spoil everything with your false modesty now. You really were very good, and that's that. Thank you. In any case, I shall follow you on this one. This may well arouse Lord Mortimer's wrath, but I must put the United States before anything else. Have we finished, Louis? Absolutely, Mr. President. I shan't keep you any longer. Allow me to take my leave. Good night, Louis. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a very big day. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Oh. Well. We managed to get Washington on our side pretty successfully. Although in the big picture, in the grand scheme of things, I feel like I'm still not too sure if that's something that we actually want. But, there you go. Okay, well, let's go back to bed and rest up for the night.